guys. So here I am. I, I I'm touching the top of my head because the the all the energy, more than that, is just coming down because of this amazing woman that I have known for many many years who has committed to has just committed fully to being exactly who she is doing exactly what she was supposed to do when she came on this planet and i'm so grateful because the work that she does is helping the her community and those that know her but humanity so i want to welcome jennifer ruth russell jennifer thank you so much for being here mm, i am so honored thank you for inviting me what oh my deep pleasure I, you know, before we started, uh, I was reading your, your current book, um, and I had to go stand outside in the sun with, on the grass because I was just as ascending and, and that, and I know that's the intention <laughs> with this book. So, um, there's several things I want to talk to you about, but first everybody, this is her newest book. She's got two more following this book. It's called Opulence Infusion, A New Faith Currency. A New Faith Currency. You guys, and you can see the, the picture if, if you're on YouTube. Um, so I've been perusing it already, Jennifer, like I said, and and it's already opening up all this, uh, all the, the light codes and all this stuff. So let's back up just a bit because you have Angels of Abundance Ascension Academy. And I, when I had you on, I think, man, it was two years ago, and we were talking a bit about your the Academy and what, what you're teaching. Um, let's talk some more about that. And, and I have, because I don't know that people understand what Ascension actually means. I, I, I kind of think there's some, I wanna say old school, I'm being very kind. Um, old school people that think that ascension means that it's it's the final phase of the Bible and everybody's going to be taken off into you know the ethers and you and you won't be in your body. But what you're teaching and showing and modeling and experiencing is moving into a, ascension and still being in body. Absolutely, absolutely. So I will give you the definition that basically I got from St. Germain, who is the avatar of this age of Aquarius, just mm. like Jesus was of the Piscean age. We have moved into the Aquarian age. And there's some very important things to know about this age. The first is that we have a beloved I am presence. You know, we have always heard of the great I am, the I am that I am, but we, and we know you know, metaphysics has taught us that we do have this presence within. This is really our ascended self, or we could say this is our light body. This is oh. our, our our light body. And to me, and, and our birthright right now, and everybody's purpose on earth, even though we're doing all these other things, is to ascend. To ascend means that we come into divine union as human divine. Oh, my into, gosh. We come into one, at true oneness. You know, we come into that place of complete uh, being able to walk the earth as almost an ascended master. <laughs> you know, we're almost there, but we're still we're still here because it's very important to be here uh, for, you know, we're, we're here to shine the light. We're here to really escort people across. You can call it the rainbow bridge, whatever. We're building actually this bridge together with the ascended ones. Yes. And with the archangels. This is an age of partnership. Oh, I love that. One of the best things to remember is we were leaving the age of, you know, parent child deity, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a child of God, which is still so powerful to say, because it's so true. We all know this in our heart, but we are, we are not asked to, to bow down and worship. We are asked to participate in creation to absolutely to, to walk with the angels and counsel with them daily. You know, we, we used to do this. Now we're coming back to remembering this. Our relationship with nature yeah. is, uh, you know, in metaphysics, we call it the law, but nature is the doer, the bringing into form. And we still, you know, we totally abdicated our relationship, our partnership with nature. 
we're coming back in so many different ways, you know, climate change and all that. People are really becoming into conscious awareness. But nature brings a different kind of intelligence. They bring the form, they bring balance, they bring the order and the organization. And we, as there's three brands, I'm sorry, you could just stop me anytime because I will- No, I'm, I'm, just, taking so no I'm taking so many notes, Jennifer. <laughs> so there, there's, there's three kingdoms. There's three kingdoms of heaven, the, the company of heaven. There's three kingdoms or queendoms, whatever you want to call them. One of us is us, you know, humanity. We are ascending. We become ascended masters. We are the choosers. We are the ones because of our free will, we choose. And we really need to remember this. That's why, you know, we've, we've been hearing for a long time, watch your thoughts, your feelings, and your thoughts create definitely. Even more so your choice, remembering that you are choosing every moment your choice is law it becomes law that's how powerful we are the elemental kingdom or the nature kingdom is that which makes what we decide happen they're you know they're part of the divine the doer the doing and the deed right that is uh -huh. not our job and this is so hard for us to remember in this age because we've been doing so much self-help book, self-motivation, you know, get her done. We got to get her done. You know, we got to get off, get out that list and check it off. Right. But what, when we do that, we're like missing out on our partnership and what our true place is. And we're not the doers. We are. Yeah. Not you know, Jennifer, and then I want to hear about the third kingdom. I, I so hear you when you say that, because what I've learned in, you know, in my ripe old age now is, uh, as, as I continue to make, when I was making goals and making lists and checking it twice and all that stuff, it made me smaller energetically. It, it limited my ability to step into my potential because I was distracted by doing the thing that you've just said is, is not mine to do. And I think that happens for a lot of people. And we've been culturalized to like you just said get it done you know uh, especially in america but i'm sure it's around the world you know with corporations and organizations that are from the top down in terms of hierarchy and we've become the worker bees of some some system that is absolutely broken and i know we're going to talk about that more i i call it broken i you know it's just moving off the very dysfunctional <laughs> yeah that's a very kind way to put it so uh, so after humanity and the elementals then there is the third kingdom which is the angelics the angelic kingdom mm. the angelic kingdom they radiate they shine divinity right they take from the beloved divine all these beautiful attributes like opulence like abundance and just shine right they just blaze them we could say they absolutely are the the i would say the energy behind it all you know mm. we are we are, we are we are the choosers uh the nature is the doer and here are the angels that they shine that beautiful divinity on it all so yeah. we work together in tandem i love that so here's Here's what I've, I've just started working with archangels and other uh, deities, I don't know, three years ago or something, I, you know, because I was just, and elementals and all this. So what I've learned, and now I want to hear your thoughts on this, but when you're working in those realms, there, it, it's important, oh, we got to talk about the other dimensional beings that are here. Um, it's very important to ask for their help. They can't come in and do for you while even though the elementals are doers you have to ask right yes and also the door that opens all of that is your beloved i am presence see your your beloved i am presence is your divine authority mm -hmm. if you're asking from just like oh come on archangel michael let's do this you know you're, you're asking from just like a very human place it, it really nobody can hear you it's when you when you step into that divine authority of your beloved I am presence, you are a command, and then the doors open for you. So those, and you definitely need to ask. You need to be very asky. 
<laughs> but see, how do you, okay, so I, this is uh, commanding, right? There's many, many cultures, religions, philosophies that, that, that feels like you're just overstepping your bounds, yeah. but commanding that I'm beginning to understand that's because as we continue to align with the I am presence, that we are just one, we are in that oneness. So the commanding is the God authority within you or me that is speaking to the other God authority that I'm standing in. Is that, is that? That's right. That's right. You are really commanding. Like Ernest Holmes said this, we take from the infinite and give to the finite. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I think that our prayers or I think they're, they're, they should be commands, right? They are because we are the ones to pull it in. We are pulling heaven on earth. Right. We are taking these divine qualities and we are conductors of divine energy. That's, uh, you know, my, I'm t I'm calling light leaders and, and when I'm teaching or working with these individuals, it, I constantly remind them that we are conduits for spirit. We are the conductors of the infinite presence. And, it's, and it is because more as we align 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 and you know and wake up wake up rise up rise up that conduit becomes stronger and and the intuition that we may have avoided put on pause comes in more more readily and you can hear you can, you can actually hear yourself think huh <laughs> Yes, and you know that the thing, other thing I wanted to say about this ascension business is each of us came with a sponsor. That is very similar to 12 step work, except it's on a much higher level of, you know, someone that is going to absolutely be guiding you through the process. And Mother Mary is that for me. Oh. So Mother Mary has become a very, she is a, she is a voice behind everything that comes through me in my books and my meditations. I do it in partnership with Mother Mary. Um, and even the even this book, this book went up to a whole nother level. Uh, you know, and this book, I gotta tell you how this book started. I was actually doing um, a retreat with the practitioners from the academy. We have practitioners in the academy. And I was driving home and I had just read something from one of St. Germain's beautiful writing. He, he got all these writings to come through in the, in the early 1900s, you know, oh. because it's like, we are dissolving the old mystery schools. This stuff needs to be known now. It needs to be known in such a simple way that anyone can hear it. I'm and so he, grateful you said that because it always annoyed me that mystery schools were hidden. It just, yes. it just pissed me off, Jennifer. Yes. Well, it's not hidden anymore. And you know, the, the archangels speak, the uh, the beautiful ascended masters speak, the wonderful mighty Elohim, the higher form of the nature kingdom that actually built this world and built the solar system are giving us the steps. They call it precipitation, which is a, is that, you know, out of no thing, something will be created. Ah. That they, they followed a divine idea, a divine blueprint, which is okay, we're the ones that do that. We say this, we give the directive, and that is a divine blueprint from our beloved God parents and the sun, Helios and Vesta said, we want to create a solar system. Will you do this for us? Wow. And they, they, they conversed, they said, yes, we will. And they took that divine blueprint going back to it every time. They didn't say, oh, we got to change this. How about let's do this? That's why I think so many corporate bar boardrooms are so are, are st stammied, stymied, whatever that word is, yeah. because there's, because who is what, you know, who's, who's going to be doing the work and who's going to hold that blueprint. That's, we call it too. I think it's science of mind vision keeper, you know, holding the vision is so much a big part of creation. Um, and so all these mighty beings came in these, uh, they're called the, we call them the white books, but the, the, um, uh, I am discourses and the bridge to freedom work. I'm just going to speak into those because those are actually what I study. I am still in love with studying them. So they keep yeah. fueling me to really go to another level, you know, and this, this I am presence. I thought I knew so much. I know nothing. Oh my God. It's, it's a dynamic, <laughs> active presence. 
that right. you can absolutely set into action. So it's, you know, it's, there's nothing small about it. Which is so exciting. So t so explain every to everybody how this came about. Okay, that's what I was going to tell you. Thank yeah, you. and I, I, I diverted you. <laughs> I, I need that kind of help. Thank you. <laughs> so I was, uh, I had read, and one of the I Am Discourses, um, St. Germain said, somebody was talking about supply, which has always been my focus. You know, how do we really unlock this manifestation thing? And uh, St. Germain said, why don't you just precipitate gold, pure gold? You know, why don't you just basically create it out of nothing? Be the alchemist. And I said, are you serious? And he goes, I challenge you. <laughs> he gave me a challenge. Okay? Oh, no. Yes. He said, prove it. Prove that you can. So this is the thing. I started working with him. Just started really slow. We started meeting in the gold, the pure gold lab. You know, the team started to grow to grow, to grow. I remember I, I, I brought some someone in on the physical form to, to be with me for the first few months and they were like, I'm, I can't do this. And I said, that's okay. And so I just kept going and this whole thing started growing within me. And I realized that I didn't wanna precipitate pure gold because I, did, I don't like the vibration that this world has around gold right now. I didn't wanna get into that kind of um, arena. It didn't feel at harmony with where I am. I'm sure somebody else could and they would be fine, especially if they work in that field a lot. I haven't, you know. So then it began to be this faith currency, this new faith currency, which is very simple. It's so simple. It's like, you know, but it's really all needs met all the time, anytime, every time. And Mother Mary always adds, and lavishly, you know, because- I love that part. <laughs> I know, because it's time for us to come into- the care of beloved Sophia, you know, it's it's a very feminine, um, I would say from the get her done, it's the, the, the place of opening the heart, especially to Mother Mary, because Mother Mary says to us, abundance flows through my immaculate heart. And I, my, my inquiry, you know how you stay in a question for a while? Mm -hmm. I was in a question for a really long time. What does that really mean? And not knowing that this would bring me into this relationship with her. But I was in the Ukraine. I was sharing my music at a, at a conference there way back in, what was it, 2013. Mm. And I was in a roadside attraction looking at, there were so many pictures of the Divine Mother and Mary Magdalene every, everywhere. Divine Mother is doing fine in Ukraine. And there... <laughs> I was looking at this picture. It was very demure. Uh, she was kind of looking down. It was really old and very dark. And I just heard her say to me, my name. And then she said, I want to start talking to you. I want us to start communing together. And this is what we should do, you know? So she just, and I just went into tears, of course, and, and just began this simple process of asking questions, writing down the answers, just starting to get these messages daily some, sometimes now, now I'm getting them weekly because I'm, I'm, I'm really nurturing my community with the opulence and fusion and the new faith currency. So as this team grew, it grew within me. And then it was like, okay, it's time to, time to bring it to the world. Let's go. And that's how all my books have been. They're like, okay, it's time to give, give everybody a message a week. Let's go. And then this book is, it, book is born. Amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. And I, I said this before we start, I'm so grateful for your willingness mm -hmm. to dive deep, rise high, step in and stand in your authority. I'm, I'm just so grateful, Jennifer, because it's, this book is opening, has already opened channels for me just in reading it and there, and, and, and everybody in the opulence infusion that Jennifer's talking about. It's, it's not, it's not a read through. It's a workbook. You got to sit and do the work and it's not, and it's different from like my book where I have people journal and do activities. This is really about sitting and aligning with higher frequencies in uh, higher dimensions, right, Jennifer? That's right. They, the, uh, the lab, we call it the lab. It is in the 10th sphere. We could call that a 10th dimension. And that is the dimension of gold, pure gold. 
Mm. And um, this pyramid, beautiful pyramid lab was as was open there. And I can't tell you how many people, uh, people, I call them people, but you know, beings of light have joined us and have been there and just opening up. I mean, this book, we, we opened up to the dragons, to the unicorns, Pan came in in the next book and these expanded light bodies uh, of ours, really what are the ex expanded chakras? You know, we're being changed on a cellular level. Yeah. From the old carbon base to, to pure crystalline bodies. So, you know, I have been just, everything that comes to me, I really try to practice it, but I feel like I'm still trying to catch up with what's been given to me, you know? I'm, I'm still trying to embody it and live it. Right. Which yeah. is why in the, in the practice of ascending, I think it's important to remain here so that you can embody it. And really then, I'm hearing that that's what they did in, in Atlantis. Yeah. 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 And 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 here we go again. But hopefully with uh, more awareness of where misuse and arrogance gets us. And it's fascinating to see what's happening on the earth plane right now with the misuse of everything. Yeah. Fascinating. Yeah. So, um, so, and I just got to say, when I, I, I read that, oh yeah, and it's a gold pyramid. I was like, well, of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> and I can't wait to really get into this work and, and just be in that uh, yes, space. It is, it is a calibration and a recalibration. And I really suggest you get the music to it. Opulence light songs. They're light songs that are coming through me to, to wake you up on another level, okay? To really like align you. Uh, with the higher frequencies and you know especially around money because money is one of the densest oldest beliefs you know we've got we're working with here and you know I I love what Mother Mary says separate abundance and money separate them they're not the same money is a provision that you know and your provision and I've been living this I have been living this so I have example after example and so have my students it's just amazing you know, I wouldn't say anybody in my community or me, I'm not really after a certain to, uh, to, you know, get a certain amount of wealth around me. It's not about that. It's really about riding on top of the waves of what's going on in the world and really seeing every need met so beautifully way out of even my own idea of what should happen. Right. You know? And, and one of the great examples, we came to, to South Carolina on a wing and a prayer. We came here at a, a divine directive, not really knowing what was going to be here for us. You know, it was a faith walk. It was activating the faith currency big time. This beautiful home was presented to us and a, a great, a beautiful, great, uh, it's a baby grand piano because I had oh, to hold my piano. And you know, the walk that I had every every time you're asked to step up, you have to shed more of the old, right? And I'm on a Sunday morning, I'm playing the piano, you know, and I just hear this beautiful voice within, like, well, what are you doing? You know, because I was like, I don't know where to serve here and share my music, because I've been sharing my music my whole life. And I just stood up and I said, I am not done. I am not finished. I have more to share. I want to share this music. Show me the way. You know, there is a command. Show me the way. And that day, um, I went online and said, I'm going to look south. Columbia, the, the state capital, is just south of us. And I was very hungry for integrated community because that's, you know, I'm from Africa. I have always been an integrated community my whole life. And this beautiful black woman was standing and giving the, 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 you know, thought for the day and prayer. And then the minister came on and started speaking. And I was like, I liked him. You know, I'm, my, I'm, I'm a preacher's kid myself. And I, I have, you know, it takes a lot for me to like a minister. <laughs> and I was like, I like him. I like him a lot. And at the end of his talk, he said, oh, I want everyone to know we're looking for a music director. And I was just like... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you commanded it and it happened immediately. Yeah, it was just, that's, it was, 
that's the power of the I am presence. And when we're aligned with it, it happens immediately. And yeah. people, people don't believe in miracles anymore because they're so misaligned. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. They happen all the time. I love it, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. I love it. So, um, there's another question I'm supposed to ask you. This is fast and furious. Oh, I, I so this is what I want to say to everybody. So Jennifer is a, a singer and songwriter, and she's got several um, albums, CDs, if you will, that she's done over the years that I have. I think I have almost all of them now. I, I think I do. Thank and you. Um, thank you for your support. My oh, my God, honey. <laughs> and I, I pull I go. I have a car that does have a CD player now. So I, I play them, especially when I'm feeling um, low, you know, energetically squashed or, you know, or uh, uncertain. And I, I pop in one of your CDs and, you know, drive into the market. And by the time I get out, I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. So I just want everybody to know that there's, I have so much energy at the back of my head, Jennifer. I want everybody to know that um, while Jennifer is on this amazing ride leading us into uh, this new faith currency and opulence and all of that, that her her work that she did preceding this is still vibrationally high. Thank so. You. I invite you all to get something, you know, and like I said, just put, play it in your car. I have a sense that the light code uh, songs, you probably shouldn't be driving. You should not be driving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should not be driving unless you're very grounded and you know how to do, you know, because we're, we're learning how to do that. We're learning how to be multidimensional, you know? Yeah. That's becoming easier and easier for us. But I would like to offer everybody a gift that... They can get a taste of the light songs um, if they go to angelsofabundanceascensionacademy.com. And there's a gift there. Um, it's called Unlock Your New Opulence Light Codes, Releasing the Old Way of Doing Money and Step into a Whole New Way of Receiving and Creating with the Divine Feminine. So Mother Mary and, um, and I have created a beautiful meditation, uh, a healing, a sound healing. Oh, and, I love that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if, I feel like we're starting to wind down, but I, I want you to explain to everybody what are light codes? Because for people that aren't aware of everything that's going on yet. Well, let me tell you how I, how I see them because there's so much information out there about what's happening and everyone has a little bit of a different interpretation. I will tell you what happened and has happened to me of really setting an intention of receiving a higher level of light because that's what we do as as light as light returns to light we are returning to the light so that's why we are becoming lighter and lighter that's why some days you feel really tired you need some extra rest and more water because your body is getting used to these higher levels and these higher levels of light and higher levels of being and I was hearing the light codes, light codes, and I said, what is this, a new opulence light codes? And I literally was waking up one morning and just, I received this full visceral. It felt like, you know how the old TVs used to do the rolling, rolling, mm -hmm. screen would roll, roll. Mm -hmm. It felt like that, just coming down, 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 and actually went from the top of my head all the way down to my feet. And I just lay, I was laying down. I just lay there and just felt this immense, um, I would say it was a transmission, mm -hmm. you know, it was a transmission of light. And I know that I was initiated into a new level of light. I think as you intend that, which is a, a high use of choice, <laughs> our, our divine, you know, authority of choosing, you will, you will continue to receive more and more light. And I am amazed because I'm still receiving more. I don't, I don't know if I ever will get there in this body, but my body is, stat, is now able to command much more energy. My health is incredibly good. Wow. Um, you know, my relationships are getting really clear. I tell you, I cannot, I, I can't afford anymore to be around people that are um, 
focusing on things that are really low energy. I bless them, but I know that I need to be really selfish that way and to and remove myself and get myself into um, a place of light because I can't, the level of work that I'm doing, I need to stay in a really high vibration. I know we all do. We all do. And that's what the light codes really are for. Of course, divine protection is really important too, but we don't, we don't need to talk about that now, but I just want everyone to know it is real. It's important, you know, yeah. to upgrade, upgrade your armor you know, when you can. Right. Yeah. And, and, and if you're, and, uh, cause I have clients that come to me and they're like, I don't, I don't feel good. I think that I just don't, uh, you know, I'm depressed or I'm blah, blah, blah. And, and yeah, and I can see it and I'm like, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to do this and then you will be safe, you know, for lack of a better descriptor. And so that's another conversation later, Jennifer, huh? Yes. And we'll, we, we can talk about the violet flame and how that cleanses us too and absolutely transmutes the lower energy into a higher energy. Okay. We have so many tools that have been given to us to do that. I'm, I'm just so grateful. So if you want to get Jennifer CDs, you can go to jenniferruthrussell.com and the Angels of Abundance and Ascension can, uh, Academy. It's, it's, four, it's four A's. Yeah. The Angels of Abundance Ascension Academy. Okay. So you have on not only uh, the morning light meditations that you're doing, but you are also uh, in your community, you're teaching people how to utilize all of everything that's coming in yes and that that program is within the academy it's called creative abundance with mother mary and we absolutely get into the um trenches with mother mary on how to create and, and how to the whole thing began here mm -hmm. she asked us to graft our heart to her heart mm -hmm. and it reminds me but on such a higher level of, you know, did you give your heart to Jesus? You know, I don't know if you remember that in the old days of the mm -hmm. evangelical Christian, uh, those of you that were in the evangel, you know, you, you, you were saved when you gave your heart to Jesus. And it's not really giving your heart to, to Mary, but it's actually connecting. And think about the highest practitioner of light that you know on this plane. It's like you get to use all those eons Wow. Uh, centuries of consciousness that is Mother Mary. You know, it's like you tap right in to the fullest potential of her potential. You know, now there's no codependency in heaven, so you need to take your heart back when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> and that's being self responsible, everybody. That's right. I love that. <laughs> Jennifer, thank you. So, um, I think when you're the next book, the Opulence Infusion series, evidently. It's going to be called Grounded Opulence because now we are living transmissions walking on the earth. Right. So uh, we brought it down. We're est establishing it here uh, by walking as light bodies. Yeah. So I think you got to come back again and we'll talk about that book. Oh, I'd love that. And by then I will have gone to the Golden uh, Pyramid many times. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you again. Uh, you're thank so you. fabulous. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to say, you talked about the unicorns. I have been arguing with my spouse, Kevin, since we met that unicorns are real. And he's like, no, it's a myth. It's a myth. And, and everybody, if I believe in unicorns and he started giving me stuffed animal unicorns as, as a joke, but man, I can, you can see them if you're paying attention. You can see the dragons if you're paying attention. You can actually uh, access them because they're coming here. They're here already yes. from the dimensions that they had removed themselves to because they know and they've been told that now is uh, a time for the earth mm -hmm. To shift into the next golden age, uh, which is the age of Aquarius, like we said at the beginning. Beautifully said. Yeah. Yeah, and I understand the Bra the Dragon Brigade really as coming in to help the Elemental Kingdom. Mm. Unicorns are a high rarefied level of the angelics, and uh, of course they were here fully, and 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 they left because we, you know, they chose, they chose the horse shape. They chose that shape, um, but really they could appear to you in any form. You know, it depends who you are. 
curious. It's curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> Well, thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. I, I so appreciate you and the work. Like I said, you are a blessing. You have been a blessing in my life and you are a blessing to the world now. And I just celebrate you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. What an honor it is to be here. And I love the work you're doing too. And thank you for giving light leaders an opportunity to share their stuff this year. I think it's fabulous. Yeah. 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 We'll see where we go, won't we? It'll be good. You know that. <laughs> so I'm just going to end with, and so it is, namaste.